Hi guys, so after watching all these EDC videos, I think that with your help we have created the most compact EDC toolkit in the world. In this video I will cover the latest changes, so check it out. So the purpose of this kit is to have tools that cover the most common jobs when you're not at home. And I won't argue that specific tools or specialized tools work much better. But the thing is that they are bulkier and heavier. And that's not what I wanted for this kit because it's super compact and relatively lightweight. Um, in the description of this video, I've put all the links to the items. So starting with Letterman items, still got for all these years a complete bit set. The bit driver extender with this uh, 3D printed model, a handle for the driver extender. Now it's a pretty useful um, screwdriver. I replaced the ratchet, crappy ratchet, with the uh, Letterman ratchet. Also fits nicely in this uh, holder. And yeah, it's. I found it is a really useful screwdriver. So yeah, of course, still got the Letterman Search, one of the best multi-tools you can get, uh, in my opinion. The CRKT CEO, super compact uh, gentleman's knife. The Olight S2, um, this one is of course discontinued, I think it's several years old already. But uh, a good alternative, or the best alternative, is the S2R. And the only difference is, yeah, its shape is kind of different. But you also get a charger, I've noticed. And that's, yeah, a pretty useful thing. I've also put the link to that one in the video uh, description as well. Got a pencil. The socket holder with the sockets from 4mm up to 30mm. Some hex bits, or the screw extractors actually, and some micro bits. <clears throat> the uh, telescopic magnetic stick still saved me many times when a uh, nut or a bolt drop down uh, I got some tape over here this is the, yeah, the Teflon tape some electrical tape duct tape and at the back some uh, steel wire got the uh, cross wrench over here and this is pretty useful as well. This is uh, the uh, qu a quarter inch uh, joint. Uh, not too sure how it's called. But yeah, I've added these extenders, quarter inch extenders as well. Because at a, yeah, it was during my motorcycle trip, one of the bolts got loose from my exhaust. So I had to grab <clears throat> one of the uh, sockets, of course. And what I did, I, uh, let's see, was this uh, adapter, hex adapter. Put this in here, We've got the driver extender, and then I took my letterman. Let's see. And what I tried was of course to tighten that bolt. So what I did was I put it in there, and for some leverage I tried to, to tighten the bolt in this configuration, and when I really needed to tighten it up, I just loosened this a bit. And now I got some extra leverage. <clears throat> but what I noticed <clears throat> is that the, of course, the Letterman bit driver extender does not take that much uh, of torque. And I twisted it a bit. So when I had to, or when I need to tie the bolt down pretty tightly, I got this T handle. And this T handle directly fits on the sockets, <clears throat> but I can also. Let's see where I put it. Already lost it, I see. Um, oh, no, it's still in there. This female adapter, hex to quarter inch. And what I did, what I, yeah, making it a pretty useful ratchet, super compact. Now I got this T handle uh, ratchet driver. But yeah, of course, when I. Uh, really need some leverage. That this is something I still need to test out in practice. I'm planning to take these extend extenders and put them on there. 
So now I also have some pretty decent leverage to tighten some bolts. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it for nuts and screw tightening. Yes, yeah, I've got the joint. That's of course also pretty useful with this uh, T-handle. What I can do is put this on there like so. Now, yeah, this is kind of a random thing that I'm doing right now. But it just gives, gives you a, an idea of the things that you can do with it in certain circumstances. But can also put down the uh, ratchet uh, driver in between. So, yes, that's it. Now, yeah, this is something I also replaced. I used to have some soldering tin and some heat shrinks. And I replaced these with these special heat shrinks. And this is just a heat shrink with some tin in between and some kind of seal. So now when you have two wires, you put one of these uh, across or over one of the wires, you twist them together, you slide this thing in between and you melt it with a lighter. So you have a wat watertight seal and the wires are soldered at the same time. I've put uh, several sizes in between or in each, into each other, as you can see. Yeah, still got the plasters or the bandages, alcohol wipes, lens wipes, rubber bands and zip ties. Oh yeah, and of course over here is a small box with some uh, micro bits. And that's back, <clears throat> still got these saw blades in my improvised uh, um, cardboard holder. Some nails and tweezer, or tweezers, and some safety gloves. And that's basically it for the update of this year. Um, I'm planning to make several videos, by the way. I've got an idea for another uh, holder, tool holder, that's for this uh, cross wrench and uh, where is it? Yeah, the cross wrench, these bits, and the adapter, which I can't find right now. <laughs> kind of messy. Yeah. So that's also coming up. Make sure to subscribe for that. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching, guys.